Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the cracking moment capacity for the given beep section. So the question is asked that find the cracking moment capacity for the following beam section, which is given to us this one. This is a beam section, and also given to us that the concrete compressor strength is 30 megapascal. So some of the data is given to us and we have to find out the cracking moment capacity of the capacity of the beam. Cracking moment capacity, if you don't know about cracking moment capacity, so it is the capacity of the beam without having first crack. So when this is a beam for example, and when the load is acting on this beam, so it shows some deformation and bending moment. So when the load increases, the bending moment also increases in its moment capacity is like this. It's increasing and increasing. And when the first crack occurs in the beam, so we call that the moment resistance of the beam at this point where the first crack occurs is known as the cracking moment capacity of the beam. So cracking moment capacity is the capacity of the beam at which the first crack is going to occur in the beam. So the height of the beam is or the depth of the beam is given to us is 600 millimeter the width of the beam is given to us 300 millimeter and there are three number 16 bars in this beam so to find out the cracking moment capacity the cracking moment capacity is equal to the the concrete tensile strength in the flexure multiplying it with the section modulus now we are required to know the two values one is the concrete tensile strength and one is the section modulus so the concrete tensile strength we can know from some of the standards for example from the euro code we can find out 0 0.3 into the concrete compressor strength into 2 by 3 this formula is used to find out the concrete tensile strength if we know the compressor strength of the concrete but this formula is according to the european union standards en but according to the indian standard australian standards in american society we have some different values for determining the tensile strength of the concrete. So here in this case, I'm using this European standard. So concrete tensile strength will be equal to 0 0.3 multiplying with the compressor strength of the concrete, which is 30 megapascal into 2 by 3. We got here 2.9 megapascal concrete tensile strength. Now, if CT is known to us, we have to only find out the Z, which is the section modulus of the beam section now what is section modulus it is z is equal to i by c i is the moment of inertia of the section which is rectangular or square so b d cube divided by 12 in dividing it by c c is always the distance from this neutral axis up to the extreme fiber which is d by 2 c is nothing but d by 2 here it is also d by 2 here and see the half of the depth so c is d by 2 so if i put it here d by 2 so it will be d and 2 will become into the top so 12 is cancelled d is also cancelled so we got here b d square by 6 so this is the section modulus for this rectangular section so now we can just put in our value to find out the section modulus for this so b is 300 or 0.3 meter multiplying with the d D is 600 millimeter or 0.6 meter per square dividing it by 6. So we got here the section modulus of for this beam section comes out to be 0 0.018 cubic meter. So now this is also known to us. This is known to us. So we can just put in this value to find out the cracking moment capacity of the beam. So this is 2.9 megapascal multiplying 0 0.018 so we got m critical equal to 0 0.0522 mega newton meter because the units were mega pascal in meter so here we can multiply it with a thousand so by multiplying this equation with thousand because one mega newton has thousand kilonewton so it comes out to be 52.2 kilonewton meter so this is the capacity the cracking moment capacity of the beam in the unit of kilonewton meter it means this is the capacity of the beam without having crack in the concrete after this the first crack will occur and will try to decrease in its tensile strength 
So hope you guys understand how to find out the cracking moment capacity for any beam section by following this formula. Remember that the section modulus changes for different sections. Hope you guys understood and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.